Hey guys, so it's been about a month since I posted out my video about my problems of getting water to our house in Croatia. Okay, so if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out above. That's kind of like a quick catch up. We basically have water around 60 to 80 meters away from our house that runs through a pipe that goes all the way to the petrol station. When that was being installed, the two houses on the black had their water installed to that pipe. Okay, so there is a pipe that runs near my house. But um, just we had a meeting with the, with the director after going in that water place around you know, seven to 10 times. Uh, finally had a meeting with the director and the director basically told me that they have no investment with the water board and it's not going to be possible. You know, I calculated how much it would cost for me to do it myself to, you know, dig it up, put a pipe in, and you're talking like 600 euros. Now, I guess the problem that they're coming across with is that if they do my house, they're gonna to have to do everyone else's. But we're living in 2022. There is a water main there, and they just don't want to hook people up with water. It's not a massive project. It's a shame, you know? I need to move in soon. Uh, I've got a baby on the way and I've got a child with me. And obviously, I don't know if any of you had to go through it, but living without water probably isn't, you know, the best of best of things. Um, also struggling with electricity, but that's another story which I will post about in a different video. Uh, so yeah, what what are the options now? I mean, there is people that are saying, why don't you dig your own rainwater catchment system? Um, and then you can sort of hook a pump up to that and, you know, do it that way. And I'm just like, well, this is a system that's just, it's going back in time. And okay, that could be all right for, for the small time being. But the problem is, is that it doesn't really rain that much in Croatia. I mean, especially during the summer, it's just not raining. And then you basically getting water on the grid anyway because you having to fill um you having to fill that container up with water from the fire engines that they obviously get it from the town so it's just like it just doesn't make any sense to me it's just a step backwards alternatively someone else has given me a pretty good option which i'm going to now look into which is basically drilling into uh, the ground for I don't know how many meters this would have to be checked out beforehand um, until we get to the water table once you get to the water table you can like hook that up to a pump and then basically you've got unlimited clean water to your house well depending on how clean the water is below you um, that you'd need that tested anyway so first of all I would need someone that can come out to just check if there is water below me and from what I've heard, um, it's apparently some guy that comes out with a couple copper wires. I don't know how it works. Like I will film that. I have no idea how it works, so we'll find that out. <clears throat> I've rung a few companies and they basically, they basically just answer the phone like really rudely. And they basically come up with the answer of, I'm busy, uh, I'm too busy. And it's like, all right, do you wanna make, you know, you know when are you not busy? Oh, well, you can ring me back in a month. Okay, so if you're not busy in a month, can you not pencil me in in a month's time to come and have a look? No, ring me in a month. All right then, so what I'll do is I'll wait a month and I'll ring you and then you're gonna tell me that I need to wait another month. Is that how it works? And he was like, well, what do you want me to do about it? It's like, well, what do you think? Just put me in your diary like any other normal person would do. You know, this Croatian way of doing stuff is driving me nuts to be fair because it's just it's just an ongoing battle and these tradesmen speak to you like they own you and it's uh it's very weird because obviously coming from an english background where you, you know you're serving the people it's like the other way around like you know <laughs> they think that you owe them something for ringing them like you're wasting their time, but really, you know, you, you're paying their bills, so why are they being so rude to you? It's just not a way of building a reputable business, in my opinion. So yeah, I rung a few of them, and 
none, none of them were really that interested in doing it. So it's just like, well, I don't even know how much this thing costs. I was like, well, can you tell me some kind of rough cost of what this is going to be? And it's like, I don't know. It's like, right, okay. Because in my head, I was like, well, maybe it costs between, you know, maybe it'll cost like a thousand, a thousand euros or something to do this. I spoke to someone else and apparently they had theirs done for 10 grand, 10 grand euro. Now that's crazy money, crazy money. Um, and I think we worked it out that it would take 20 years to break even um, if you were paying town water, which I guess if you're going to spend 20 years there, it's a, it's kind of a good investment. Um, and obviously, you know, you get that clean water, but then, you know, they've had problems with flow rates um, because apparently the person who did theirs didn't do the best of jobs and it, the flow rate isn't good. So it just really depends on how it goes, really. It's not something I kind of heard of before, but I'm willing to kind of get a quote for that and see see if that's what we can do because I'd rather do that than spend a few grand on a bloody... Uh, well where I just get it filled up by the uh, fire engine again I might as well just carry on using the neighbour's water supply um, and just pay for water that way so yeah um, it's very unfortunate and I wish things were different and I wish that you know they really just cared about your situation cared about the people and thought how can I help them instead of making it difficult because at the end of the day if there was no water at all in my village, where there was no pipe running there, then I can understand what they're saying. I can understand them saying there's no investment to get the pipe there, it's going to take a while, blah, blah, blah. I can understand that. But what I can't understand is that if the pipe is there already, why can't you just hook me up? And I mentioned to them as well, saying, you know, I can lay the pipe, I can dig it up. But in the end, they said, no, that's illegal. We can't let you do that. So... There you go. Um, I have had a lot of people telling me that the way to get things done in Croatia, unfortunately, is with bribery. And it's something that I really don't agree with. And it's not a path that I really want to go down because the more people fuel this kind of way of living where you're bribing people to work for you, you know, the more prevalent it's going to be. And it's just going to be the way that everything happens. And why should it be that way? You know, why can't we just get things done without having bribery? You know, again, I refer to the UK. That kind of thought doesn't even pop into your head because it's just not the way that things are done. You know, you ask for something over there and people understand your situation and help you the best way they can. And it's about solving problems instead of making problems. Just a bit of an update on where I am with the water situation. I will fill you in with other details as I come to it and hopefully film this way of finding water and potentially you know weighing up the costs of doing this uh, borehole drilling and see how that goes so yeah thanks for watching if you enjoyed my videos please check the others out and subscribe to my channel all the best thank you